Aviation pioneers, friends and family gathered to celebrate New Zealand airline history they were part of once upon a time. Many of the pilots and engineers in their 70s now remembered the golden days when Queenstown Airport looked rather different. I think it's important for Queenstown people to understand the aviation history of this area. It was, this, it was the pioneer airlines like Southern Scenic in 1947 that very sacrificially started work to establish aviation, regular air services, top dressing, tourism flights to Queenstown and contributed to what Queenstown is today. Members from all around New Zealand, Australia and the United States took to Milford Air Hangar on Friday night to share their stories, including John von Tenzelman from Tiano. It's lovely old airplanes and, and that you had a great camaraderie with the pilots because the pilots were pretty special guys. They wanted to come home and so did you, but you flew in some pretty uh, interesting conditions at times. <laughs> And Cantabrian David McDonald also flew a Domini in the 60s. Yeah, very nice plane. Uh, it only had one seat up the front, and so uh, the person that taught me on it uh, had to sit in the passenger seat <laughs> and lean over and say, do this, do that, do the next thing. Yeah. It was, and it was great. I really enjoyed it. Mina Amso, The South Today.